hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with an fgo video and uh, this is a different type of video i've always seen these uh, on the internet but i've never done them before uh, so i thought why not make a video out of this it's called which fate grand order servant will you summon it's like a little i don't know what these are called like a little quiz type of thing and uh, there's like a lot of like you know scenarios they'll probably give you options you'll have to choose and in the end it'll give you a result and I think this is a big one. I think it has like 30 or something like questions. So I thought like this is like appropriate to make into a video, you know, because it's a big one. I can like extend it up until like 10 to 15 minutes. Um, so yeah, like I've decided to do this. I've, I've actually wanted to do like a proper quiz, but I, I don't think there's any quiz like that. I've tried to search uh, on YouTube. There were a few of them. I've already done them. You know those silhouette quiz and everything i've already reacted and like you know like you know played them before and uh, made videos out of them as well and on the um internet there is a uh, the website called fgo trivia or something i've done multiple like you know videos on that uh, and a few others so but there's not a proper type of quiz i don't find them but this i've always seen this just there so i'm like yeah why not make a video on this so yeah let us see <laughs> which fgo servant would you summon um so let's get started and if you want to play along i'll provide the link to the um quiz in the description box if you want to play along or if you want to play it on your own um yeah feel free to do so and uh, if you've played along and you want to share your results feel free to do so in the comment section as well all right let us get started then so um here is the quiz as you can see um it's called which freight grand order servant would you summon and here we go as you can see this these are like the options and everything how many questions are there 30 yeah okay so let us start okay history fiction and mythology collide in the modern day as the holy grail war approaches red seal bore upon itself upon your body one day you weren't sure what it was for but now here is no question uh, now there is no question you will be a master of a heroic spirit a spiritual being with abilities far beyond most humans both of you uh, fighting for a chance to make a wish upon the Holy Grail, but you are not the sole participants of this war. Six other master servant pairs also pine for the Grail. Some families having trained disciples for generation time. There's a whole lore behind it. I guess this is the basic fate lore <laughs> for this chance, uh, and would happily spill blood to uh, for it. To get your wish, you must play the servants and claim the grain for yourself. Many use catalysts to summon the servants for their choosing, but you are not so fortunate. Instead, one will be assigned based on their affinity to you. Oh, that's quite fortunate, I would say. <laughs> you know, if, you're, if I'm just being given the catalyst like that, just like that. <laughs> this servant is not guaranteed to be powerful, but with strong affinity, hopefully bickering will be at a minimum. Let the throne of heroes get a basis for your character. Not all answers uh, can be exact. Choose those that come close to your true disposition. Multiple choice at most four. What? I can choose four times? No, what? Oh, oh, I didn't. Re oh, I thought I, I can only choose one. Right. Okay. Wait a minute. This changes a few things then. Okay. Uh, first, let me read the options first. I am but a shy and meek individual, easy to shake like young sprout. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? It's like, it's like as if I'm like reading like some kind of like literature or something. You know, the, the, the wordings. Um, I present an air of self-assured concept confidence. No one is as sure of their sense as I am. I act as a goof, amusing others like a court jester, remaining upbeat the whole way through. I remain steadfast and calm, unwavering in composure. I look ahead with a straight face. I believe in kindness more than anything. I spread compassion for most. I breathe the flames of fire, living with bravery and courage. I possess a fighter soul, live in a relaxed, carefree manner. That comings and goings of the world concern me not. <laughs> I would like to say this is probably <laughs> like really, like come on, like ooh. I guess I, this was all. all uh, no, I'm, I would say I'm a bit, you know, like, to myself, shy, but not easy to shake like a young sprout. That's not it. Um, you know what? I think I can choose four. I think. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can choose multiple. Um, so... Wait, how am I supposed to do this? Am I supposed to push next? What if I do two? Then what? Okay, you know what? I'm going to choose two options. I think two options here 
this one and this one this one and this one i'm definitely not this definitely not this not this no not as much i guess as i said i would probably choose this but yeah the first part is fine easy to shake like a sprout no not at all i'm i'm a, I'm, I'm kind of stubborn you know like <laughs> i'm not easy to shake like a young sprout okay let me go um yeah let's go next then all right here we go um which figure uh, okay uh, how well can uh, you handle the pressure of a battle in the grail war sharp nail will fly blades will be swung every moment could be your last cool as a cucumber <laughs> A sword would be against my neck and I should be able to think rationally. No, definitely not. Relatively calm, not affected, but I could still handle things. No. Not the best, not the worst. It would quite be I would quite be stressed. Even if I don't necessarily show it, my thinking will be I think this one's proper. I'm extremely unnerved, barely falling what's going on. I panic. Um okay, I think I'll choose this one. Right. Um Okay, so revenge. What does that mean? Oh, is a sh this shoved, uh, served, uh, best served quote is sometimes justified is never the answer it's sometimes justified i would say uh okay you are alone with an enemy master in front of you okay in your hands is a scroll an offer it's a self gas scroll a powerful spell that will contractually uh, that contractually obligates the writer to fulfill the terms of the contract hmm. if you sign it the enemy master will not kill you and will ensure that you remain safe throughout the rest of the Grail War. However, in exchange, you must use your command seals to force the service. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Do you take the contract? If you don't, you will need to use a command spell to summon your servant by your side as the enemy master. Um, as a... I don't take the contract. I just couldn't do that to my servant. Yeah, this one. Okay. Are you assertive or passive? Are you more assertive or passive? Okay. More assertive or more passive? Assertive, passive. I would say passive. Like, I'm just, you know. Like, I would say I'm in the middle, but there's no such options. And it's written here, are you more assertive or passive? Even though I'm in the middle, I would say my passive side wins a bit. So I'd go more passive. Um, which is your, what is your preferred order of command in the master-servant relationship? I'm the master, it's a nat natural order of things that my servant obey me. I know that my servant knows more. I let them take, take the lead. We share res responsibility as peers. No, I'm, I would have chosen this, but I'm just thinking in no way am I, like in, a, in no way is that possible. I'd probably let my servant take the lead. You know, like to be completely honest, yeah, like... Uh, yeah, like I'm, I'm completely a newbie to this. How the hell am I going to share responsibility along with them? I know nothing about the whole situation. So I'd say like, yeah, I'll let them take the lead. Yeah. How do you view yourself? Positively, I'm pretty great. Neutrally, I'm just me. Negatively, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty great. Yeah. Mm. Suppose you beat the odds and climb atop the bodies of this war. What shall you wish upon the Holy Grail be? What is it that you desire? Justice. Damn. The world is wrought with wickedness, and if only way to cleanse it is through magical means, then so be it. The world will be won by your design. A perfect utopia, or at least what you imagine that is. Happiness, no matter the cost, you may not need change, uh, but the world may very well be unrecognizable. That seems completely not what I expected. Obviously, but this is the Holy Grail, as you know. You know even if the outcome seems very nice, the Grail is going to twist it. So I think that's that's why it's like this. Okay, power, forbidden knowledge, wealth beyond your will, wildest dreams, ability to surpass any mortal. See to the position of great power. What do you want? You can have. The world may not change much, but you will stand atop of it. Uh, love, bathe in the affection showered upon you by public. The false charisma that people can't help but fall for. Flame glamour, the unrequited love of your heart beats for all yours. Of course, they will have some semblance of reason and will not hand you the world. Okay, but all eyes will be on you, and who's to say that well-spoken speech cannot inspire your action? I feel like this is better than this one, because this is like, this seems like a, a, like a recipe for disaster. Like, oh, perfect utopia, just like how I think it would be. You know, that'll be kind of bad, you know, because obviously every person, like, not any, there's no one who's completely perfect or completely correct in all means. So making the world through one person's design is a very bad idea, you know. So... This one, however, 
I would I would probably not choose this, but here it's written that they will have a semblance of reason and will not hand over the world. So it's just you're getting like plus hundred charisma. That's it. You're not like really hypnotizing them or anything. So yeah, destruction. <laughs> Your people have been wrong in the past, and it has bore a deep hatred in your heart, a grudge that can only be relieved when the offender has been wiped clean of the planet, or maybe you just want to watch the world burn. None. <laughs> you have no greater goal to fight for. Maybe you and the world want just a fun sport. <laughs> yeah, fun sport. Okay. Maybe you just want to stop the other masters from getting this insane wishes granted. No, in in no way. <laughs> Is someone that you know? Yeah, I guess like Shiro was kind of forcefully dragged into the whole thing. I guess. Um, maybe you think it's destiny. Hell, maybe you want the cup itself. Uh, regardless, it's largely satisfied and haven't much to want from the magic device. I'm just gonna choose this. Yeah, like and all of the others seems weird. <laughs> like the first one seemed nice at the beginning, but then they're like, oh, perfect utopia by your design. Nope, in no way. That's a recipe for disaster. Um, okay, when playing a board game with your friends, what does your playstyle look like? I play the game rather straightforwardly, no tricks or plans. I don't care about winning, I only care about causing the most chaos. Is that fine? I'm always thinking three steps ahead. I concoct this master plan that usually winds up falling, failing. I will make this game insufferable for the others if it means I win. Playstyle, I'm just here to have fun. I would go this, like, because really, that's what I am. I, this or this. Like... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I just play something for fun. I'm, I'm not really like strategizing or like, oh, I have to become the winner of this or something. You know, not like that. Um, I'm not a meta player, <laughs> basically. Um, okay, uh, so you are the king of a nation, bro. An invading force is looking to destroy your realm. As things are now, there's 50% chance you lose this war. You have one desperate option. You can choose to divert resources from the most vulnerable towns on the outskirts in order to reinforce the interior heartland. Doing this greatly benefits your nation's odds of surviving this war, but those living in the outskirts will be abandoned and most assuredly die. Whoa! Do you sacrifice innocent life or do you take chances and risk? <sighs> like, if, if they didn't say die, I would probably do it. But now they're writing like they'll probably die. Like, wh what? Right. Oh god, like I probably would have chosen this if this part wasn't there. Wait, um, 50% chance you lose the war. <sighs> this is a tough one. It is a 50% chance, but at the same time, if you lose the war, that would mean it's screwed either way, you know? Like, people will definitely, like, you know, like, go through a bad situation. I guess the innocence there is a chance that whoever like wins the war you know they would not do harm to the people maybe some kind of a treat but, but you know what no 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 ah I don't know like I said this is a tough one oh god I'll take the odds because like I said there is a um, like um, there is like a like a hope that whoever will defeat us they might not just you know I, like what i was thinking like oh if we lose the war then it's screwed either way but then i'm like but maybe you know there is also a chance that they oh but okay i'll, I'll take the odds like yeah right your servants need mana to exist normally the master can supply the servant with their own mana however despite uh, in the desperate times the soul of a human can be what? The soul of a human can be used to provide mana. Excess mana may even make a servant more powerful. Would you allow your servant to hunt down people in the field? Nah, man. What the hell? Yo. Uh, no, no. Not even this. I'm not like uh, Yagami Light. In, in no way. <laughs> no, I would never do something. Right. Um, who is the most important to you? Who is most important to your life? Friends and family, special someone, nations, pe nations people. I wonder who choose this one. Right. <laughs> all life damn right me myself and i i have no one no my friends and family because you know this is the thing like people might say like oh all life you know like oh like everyone you know should be happy but i think like i don't know i think like when you're put against something where you have to choose between your friends and family and some random stranger you know you're definitely going to choose you and yourself and your friends and family in no way are you choosing like some random person 
you know so all life anyone who like chooses that option i feel like that's a very like shallow way of looking at it you think that oh yeah all life but if you're put against an option like that i always think definitely i'm going to choose my friend and family but that would mean you're abandoning the other people so your choice that is all life breaks apart then and there so yeah i'm, I'm going to choose friend and family like yeah there you go okay would you be willing to ally yourself with your other masters if it means a greater chance of surviving longer even if you don't know them or know how trustworthy they actually are knowing full well that their alliance is temporary they could backstab you anytime and we have a freaking shinji's picture here wow good job <laughs> like here's the thing okay let me read the options yes two servants working to be great uh i'll just have to watch my back uh yes but you're mistaken one thing i'll be the one doing the backstab bro <laughs> maybe i will have to rely on my intuition and uh judge of character uh, there are too many risks involved. I'll choose maybe because here's the thing. If it was Rin, I would jump up and I'd be like, yes, definitely. You know, because obviously in Unlimited Blade Wars, Shiro um, is temporarily allied with Rin. But we have a freaking Shinji face over here. And I'm like, no, not with Shinji at all. So I would choose maybe. You know, I'll have to rely on my intuition and judge of character. You know, like if it's Rin, yes, definitely. If it's Sakura, yeah, sure. If it's, I don't know, like who, who else? Like Kuzuki sensei? Probably not, I would say, because Kuzuki did kind of allow media to do whatever the hell she wanted to. Um, who else? <laughs> I was going to say Kire, but then I'm like, oh no, <laughs> in no way. Um, yeah, like all these characters, yeah, sure, why not? Um, but mm, yeah, like if it's Shinji, in no way. So it's maybe. Okay, in terms of D&D &D alignment, your actions and beliefs fit in more with lawful, neutral, or chaotic. Okay, uh, for those who don't know, uh, yeah, I do know about the alignments, you know, but let me still read it. The D&D &D alignments are two axis measures of one belief, lawful versus chaotic. On horizontal axis, um, good versus evil. Okay, um, on the vertical axis, vertical, horizontal, neutral being in the middle. Lawful people willingly act within a strict code of conduct as well as uphold it. This code is typically imposed by society. Oh, Though it can be one self assigned. Interesting. Chaotic people are more free willed and don't constrain themselves to the legal things of their action. Good people tend to be more selfless, caring about the other people and helping them. Evil people tend to be more selfish and self serving, caring more about their desires than anyone else. For two examples, a chaotic good person may be Robin Hood type. Okay, wait, chaotic good. So they don't like, you know, like they do what they please, you know, not necessarily they're bad. And good means obviously they're good. So that's why Robin Hood. Okay, makes sense. Take from the rich and give to the poor. Lawful evil person may be a dictator that imposes cruel and harsh laws on the people. Ah, okay. If you want to take a quiz inside a few quiz, I'm gonna... okay, I'll do that maybe later. Um, lawful, neutral, and chaotic. I would say neutral. Like I wouldn't say like I'm particularly lawful. Like if I have to, if I am put against such an like a choice where I have to be a little bit chaotic, then I'll probably take it, you know. Um, and at the same time, I'm not completely chaotic. So I'd say I'm neutral. Um, in terms of... Dinner, oh, okay. Uh, good, neutral, evil. For this, I'd say good. Yeah. Would you rather be a book smart or street smart? Okay. Let me think. This is a good question. Book smart or street smart? I'm gonna go street smart because book smart, uh, yeah, maybe like like it'll help me in certain situations, but in most of the situations, especially I guess in a Grail War, what can book smart do to you? It will help you sometimes, but I feel like street smart is going to help you most of the times, you know, in a Grail War especially. Um, in this context, at least, you know, if I was like a, you know, if this was like not a quiz or if this was like some other situation, like. You know, then, you know, like, I'd probably choose book smart because that'll help me in my, you know, like, academics and, like, you know, help me out in a lot of things, in, like, studies and stuff. Uh, but in a Grail War, I'm going to choose street smart. Blow for blow, your servant trades attacks with an enemy servant, but one unfortunate thing came out of it. Your servant's true name was revealed to the enemy. A great piece of information for them to know. At the moment, you can't be sure who is winning. But at the same time, uh, but at the same uh, sorry, but at the very climax, the enemy suddenly turns tail and flees with their master. Do you pursue 
Yes, the fleas to, uh, tell tale sign that they're going close to defeat. Besides, now that the master is private to dangerous information, they have to be stopped. No, it's why the fallback recoup our losses. There's even the possibility that the retreat was an attempt to lure us into a trap. I would choose the first one. Because I doubt it's a trap. If they've been fighting for a while, why would they suddenly run now if it was a trap? If it was a trap, they'd do it from... Or maybe that was their plan to like weaken us and then lure us to a trap. Uh, but I would say this one because, you know, it'd be a problem later if they go back because they know the true name. And if you know, like, knowing the true ma name, name means a lot of problems, you know. At first, when I started watching Fate, I didn't really understand the concept. I was like, yeah, well, you know the true name, so what? You know, but now I understand, obviously, after playing FGO and stuff, because, yeah, true names have a lot of information in them. For example, if you're a Kyle's, and everyone got, and someone got to know your true name, they'll realize they'll have to like target your heel or something like that, you know. So it's very important. So yeah, um, and if if you're Medusa, you know, like obviously people will bring a mirror, <laughs> that kind of thing. It makes sense. Um, so yeah, I'd say that uh, yes, I'd go and try to stop them. How social are you? Very. I love going out to hang around and meet new people. Definitely not. I'll hang around with friends and colleagues often, but I'm, I would say this one, yeah. I prefer time by myself, though I would occasionally like around being friends. I don't like interacting with other people, I'd rather much be myself. Wait, often? Oh, I would choose this one then. Do like occasionally being around my friends. Yeah, I would choose this one. Okay, which of the seven deadly sins fit you the most, bro? <laughs> choose two at the most. Pride, over inferior sense of one's accomplishment and arrogance. Why? I have uh, pride in myself, but not in this way. Envy, jealousy towards other people's... <laughs> Bro, they make it sound so horrible, like jealousy towards other people's possessions and happiness. No, definitely not like that. I'm pretty sure everyone has a little bit of envy. But not like that, though. But I guess they're saying like the extremes of it. Okay, makes sense. Gluttony. I would say gluttony. I love eating. Oh my god. Like obviously like it's not only food but something else might be as well but i'd say gluttony i do overindulge so this is the first one uh lust definitely not sloth i would say yes wrath no greed no yeah these two <laughs> these two like gluttony and sloth <laughs> i'm i'm lazy you know i'm i'm kind of lazy right <laughs> yeah i i always try to find out ways where i can reduce my workload you know some way or the other i always like plan out like oh today i'll do this this and this and that would be like the easiest way and the most like you know small amount of time consumed way that i can complete all of this and then i'll have like my time you know i always do this every single day that's definitely sloth you know you're, you're trying to <laughs> you're literally to, like putting i guess you're trying you, you are putting effort in actually being lazy but at the same time it is you are being lazy so yeah, I love food and I am a lazy person. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> Which dystopian world would you rather live in? A world of peaceful stagnation, total annihilation of war, poverty and famine, but technological progress has come to a standstill. Interesting. Endless war of evolution, never ending battle of life where lives may be lost and many will suffer, but through conflict people... Yeah, anyone who's going to choose this is a psycho in no way. Endless war. You want endless war, even if it means like like uh, people will like progress. No, definitely not. Trust me, you don't want that. So even if it's like progress has come to a standstill, I'm going to choose that because that's so much better than this one in no way. Um, okay. Ah, how tragic. It seems this Grail War was never meant for just anyone to win. Through a prepared catalyst and enemy masters and summon the servant that puts your chances of victory to far beyond reasonable possibility. Running is not a possibility. How do you face this unsummonable odds? And we have a Gilgamesh picture. Great. <laughs> we take the fight to them. Head on. The odds may be not in our favor, but sometimes we have to ride, roll base dice and uh, uh, bias dice and live with the consequences. Who knows what will happen if such a dangerous person gets a hold of the grail. It would be smart to simply lay down your arms. You cannot overcome impossibilities. At least this way, the suffering and collateral will be minimum. Who knows what battle and death will be caused by such a battle now here's the thing this option they're saying that at least this way suffering and collateral will be minimum who gives you that like you know that that prop like that um 
that uh, what, what's that word um who gives you that um like who is to say that the, the person who's doing this will actually not do anything to you if you give up they might just kill you like yeah so i say this is a better odds here like if you're just like oh i cannot do anything and, and you have freaking gilgamesh in front of you gilgamesh will probably be like huh, and I, like i didn't expect you to be such a coward you know you you don't deserve to stand in front of me bam she just kills he just kills you i would expect that because if it's gilgamesh you know because as you know gilgamesh would probably appreciate you at least trying instead of just giving up you know he'll probably kill you if you actually give up so if it's someone like that yeah in no way so this one even if this sounds a bit you know like yeah you know like there's a lot of risk involved but this one it's a it's a full 50 50. not even a 50 50. It, it, it the the the, uh, the outcomes is the worst like you either get like you know like so, somehow get killed or you have to go through a lot of bad times after that so this at least have a 50 percent odds of you actually winning so this one i'd say um, how seriously do you take life? Life is a serious matter. There's no room for fun and games with bro. What? Yeah, no. I take things seriously, but I still know when to relax and have fun. I like to have fun and my essentially take the range, but I still know when to stop messing around. I happily act as I please without much care. Lots of fun game and I'll play how I like. Yeah, these two are psycho people. <laughs> no, this is not a psycho people. There are definitely people like this, you know. No, this. This is a psycho person. I happily act as I please. Life's fun game. I'll play it how I like. This is, this is psychopathic. I mean, this is fine. You know, there's a lot of people like this and they're okay. I'd say this one. Uh, yeah. Uh, what is your truest aspiration? Maybe two. Creating art, deep stories, grand painting, fantastic architecture. I want to make something that others can enjoy. Leading people, with managing a business, directing uh, team projects, and standing in the head of a nation. I want to guide people. Definitely not this. Because I remember back when I was, uh, you know, like I, when I was like a kid, um very first time like the teacher in my cl class made me like a class captain or whatever and at first i was like oh this is so fun you know like yeah like i'm a class captain and i did it for quite a while like w like like that year the next year as well the teacher made me the class captain for three years i think i was continuously the class captain and then i didn't become the class captain in the f fourth year fifth year and then in the sixth year I again want like you know they they nominated me to be a class guy and I'm like no it's fine you know I, I I prefer I prefer just following others and I've seen this I don't like to lead I'd rather just follow someone you know like so yeah <laughs> you know I'm a lazy person I just follow someone who I seem like is worth following so I I'm definitely not this <laughs> indulging in pleasures be it media entertainment good times with friends something more explicit <laughs> I want to spend my days partying and such. This is, I'm, I would say like this one, like, yeah, because, you know, like, I, like, I love, like, you know, like reading stories, like, you know, like anime and stuff, like video games. So yeah, fitness, jogging, lifting weights, uh, I want to be top physical form. Not completely, I do work out and everything, but I wouldn't say that I, like, that is my, like, way of life or anything, no. Love dates, marriage, passion, nope. Inventing brilliant discoveries, nope. Breakthrough <laughs> technology, life-saving medicines. <laughs> I want to find and create things. That, no, definitely not. Saving others, rescuing people. No, probably not. Preserving wildlife, caring for abandoned. Yeah, preserving wildlife, yeah. Rescuing people. Ah, if someone needed help, I'll definitely help them. But I wouldn't like go like, you know, out of my way to like, you know, rescue people or anything. But yeah, if someone needs help, I'm definitely helping others. Caring for the abandoned. Yeah, I want to directly protect the lives of... This is okay, but I wouldn't say like this is like, you know, what is it called? Truest aspiration? None. Oh my God. I want not much from life. I have no casual long-term dreams or noteworthy bucket list. Live casually day by day. Mm, I would say this one. Like, you know, literally because like, I'm sure everyone who's like playing this uh, quiz should choose this one because just think about it. We're all like watch anime play video games play mgo like you know like do the gacha so i feel like this is more appropriate for all of us you know beat media entertainment good times with friends or something yeah i would say this one you know um and the fact that you know anime and uh, games are like my 
what, like my only hobbies, you know, there's not other things that I do. Like, you know, this is a funny thing. I remember a lot of when I was, a, you know, like when I started anime, there's a lot of people who like, you know, watch football and, you know, a lot of other things like wrestling and stuff. You know, there's a lot of people like students and everyone who talked about that in school and later, on, you know, in my college and everything. And I was like, OK, it would be fun to actually get into all of these. You know, and I can have a conversation with my friends about them. Uh, but I don't want to because if I put time on those things like football and st other stuff, you know, like, like like so many people like like literally like talk about football and like, you know, like the different clubs and everything which play like, you know, there's like a lot of football fans. Uh, but to get involved, I thought, why don't I start watching? But then I realized like, no, I don't want that because that would mean lesser time for anime. <laughs> <laughs> and you know like the video games and stuff so i'm like no i'm okay you know, I, I i stuck with anime and stuff and here we are you know 10 years 11 years probably of watching anime and playing visual novels and stuff so mm, right so yeah i'd say this one just because of that wait i can choose two. Oh, then i'll choose this one as well <laughs> these two <laughs> um yeah i would have chosen this one but I feel like if I choose this one, I'd be lying, like honestly speaking, like, you know, because it's written here, truest aspiration. Yeah, I would help others and everything, but I wouldn't say that it's like, like a truest aspiration or anything, you know, so I'd, I'd choose these two. Yeah, I'm, I'm a lazy, pe like, <laughs> as you can see, I'm a lazy person. Um, in Grail War, you will have to defend the six other servants, but there is an alternative method besides straightforward combat. Servants are powerful, but their masters are only flat. Oh God, here we go. Flesh and blood, kill the master. <laughs> servants will starve of mana and die. The assassin class of servants are even specialized of their task. But you'll be killing another human. Perhaps another hapless master strung along in the war without much choice. Um, yeah, no, this one. I fight with the, serv the servants if I can. I can't bring myself to kill another human. Okay. When a friend is sunk in depressing times, how do you help them? Offer a shoulder which they can cry. I listen to their troubles and open heart. I give solutions to the ales, something to get them on their feet. I take them out to do something fun, sometimes to get their minds off the troubles. I'm not a supportive type. I help people to take a professional. I'll be no good on my own. I leave them be. They must learn to settle their own problems. Whoa. Okay. Um, interesting. I would say I'll give solutions because the other things I would probably do but at the same time i feel like giving solutions is the best thing you can do like yeah i can give a shoulder to crab and sometimes that does help but at the same time that doesn't really help the other person go through the problem at the same time even if i do uh, like like take them somewhere fun it will help for the time being but then again they'll be back there you know um so i would say i'd give solutions to the ails something to get them on the feet that is better in my opinion you know and i would probably do that because, like, yeah, like, I'm, yeah, I, I feel like that'll be better. Um, would you consider yourself an honorable person? Yes, I do my best and play fair and keep to the word. No, honor is a fool's game. I take what I take, what I get. Depends on circumstances. If it's life and death for my, is my foe honorable as well? I would say this one. Yeah, because in no way can I say that, oh, I'm honorable. Yeah, like, like I said, if certain situations present themselves and if I have to take a decision, which is not an honorable one, I probably would. It'll all depend on the scale in which is important to me. So yeah, I'd say it depends on the circumstances. Servants can switch between spirit form and a physical form. Even in the spirit form, the servant and the master can still communicate, though the spirit form allows them to move through ob uh, objects and conserve mana. They like the physical presence that allows them to actually experience the world. As said, some servants prefer to stay in the human form, while some keep it professional and only being corporeal during combat. How will you handle this matter of a servant spirit? Business only, unless needed, they can remain in spirit form. Some leeway, I won't be strict, but nothing unnecessary. Yeah, I'd give full freedom. Like, like they already have messed up lives in the, when, they, when they were alive, you know. Not all of them, I would say, but most of them. So, even after death, if I, like, just, no. I'll give full freedom, you know. And here's the thing, even if you give full freedom, obviously a servant cannot do anything to harm you. I guess. Unless and until, like, you know, like, they carefully craft a plan to actually screw you over. But screwing the master over means they're also screwed. 
like I said, unless until they have a backup or something. You know, uh, like certain situations, like, you know, Gilgamesh situation, if you remember in phase zero what happened. So unless or until like, like situations like that present themselves, most of the time servant won't really do anything to betray you, even if they are given full freedom. You know? So yeah, I'd give full freedom. Like, like I said, they've already had messed up lives. So why, <laughs> why mess it up even more? Uh, even after they're dead. <laughs> right, full freedom. Um, do you get attached to your servants? Just like you, they'll, they can still perish. But, not be con be, but be not confused. A servant's death is only temporary. The soul return to the throne. You'll be spending a lot of close time with the servant and a bond will no doubt form. But one day the unthinkable inevitably occurred. The servant lays limp in the crimson puddle. They begin to glow brightly before dissipating in the thin air. Person you've come to know to reduce to particles in wind. Gone. The servant's killer stands before you. Another servant's far more powerful than anyone about any human. What is your next course of action? I don't care if they're strong. I'm going to avenge my servants. I do the smart thing. I run. Why are there two options? What type of option? This is like two extremes. Like, I guess there isn't really a middle option here. Like, what? I, I'll, I'll be completely honest. I'll choose this. Like, what can I do? Like, really? Like, am I going to fight my fight the other servant? If there was another option, like, oh, I'll ally with another master and then take revenge, I'd probably choose that. But like I said, there's like two extremes here. Like, they should have given a few other options here. You know, it's a bit weird because it's like, oh, I'm going to kill you, uh, go and attack. Or, oh, I'm going to run away and just run away. Either of that, two extremes. I would rather say if, if there was some option like, yeah, like team up with a master who is my ally or like who would seem like who would necessarily ally with me or master up with a, uh, uh, sorry, servant, uh, God damn it. Uh, team up with a master whose enemy is the person who killed my servant. You know, your enemy's enemy is your friend, that kind of thing. You know, that type of situation. If there was there, if there was an option like that, I'll definitely choose that. And then avenge my servant. But alone, yeah, that's a fool's work. What are you going to do? Attacking a servant. You know, um, you're not a shonen protagonist. You're not going to unlock, like, secret power in situations like that. So, yeah, I'm going to choose this one here. If there was some other option, I'd probably choose that. But, yeah. Okay, when push comes to show, would you let your loved ones stand in the way of your goals? I know what must be done. If they choose to block my path, then that is their mistake, bro. <laughs> There's a few psychopathic options in this quiz, you know? Oh, boy. I wonder what happens if you choose all the psycho options. It Probably you will get paired up with someone like Gilderay's or something. <laughs> oh, God. Um, uh, I know what must be done. If they choose to block my path, then that is a mistake. I don't want anything bad to come to them. If they're being unreasonable, then I'll do what I must. Surely they have to have some reason for what they're doing. I'll gladly help them out. Um, yeah, what, what these, both of these options are bad. Why? Uh, yeah, I'll choose this one. Uh, the light of the sigils shines brighter and brighter. Your servant for this war is about to manifest. But there's only, only leaves one thing on your mind. The great war is dangerous and only one will survive. So death is likely. Are you prepared for this possibility? Mm. Right. Yes, I'm ready. I'm not ready, but I'll be soon enough. I choose this one. Like, come on. Like, if you really are a, like a normal, ordinary person going about your life, having fun with friends, and suddenly this happens, yeah, you're definitely not ready. And you probably never could be properly ready. You know? Yeah, these two are, yeah, not for me at least. I choose this one. Okay, let's see. Which servant am I paired up with? <laughs> okay, interesting. Um, Marie Antoinette. Hmm. Okay. All right. Do you like me too? Very well, then let's. If so, that's great. Viva la France. The Queen of France born in the house of Habsburg. The fleeing lady, she's the queen to 18th century King Louis um, XVI. The symbol of rule of European nobility over the people as society changed and the royals lost their authority. She lost her life before she could witness the change. Wait, let me see all of these. What else was there? What a stall for? 
Why? 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 What is Astolfo? Like Astolfo, like, oh my God, I have, I have a real problem with Astolfo, you know? Like when I did the GSSR, Astolfo was the last character I wanted and he's pooped me, you know? It's fine, I guess, at this point, but there's all the other characters were there who I wanted and he's the one who decided to spook me. And now this is happening. He's, he's come up here as well. <laughs> what? Right. And then Ganesha, okay. Arash, okay. Paul Bunyan. Um, Atlante, Queen of Sheba, Mozart. Okay, Robin Hood, Burika, Sherlock Holmes, Passion Lip, Hoopsai, Geronimo, Passelses, Nosiram Iskander, Frankenstein, Tamamo, Merlin. Damn. Lancelot, Bedivere, Hassan, Osaka, Bohemia. Damn, there's so many. Okay. Nero is 19. Gawain, Anastasia, Da Vinci, Kasaha, Tristan. Okay, wait. Who's the least likely to be my servant? Ryofu. Ah, Hassan. Okay, King Hassan. James Moriarty. Arturia Alt. Gilderay, as you can see. I knew there would be a Gilderay option. All the psycho options would probably be Gilderay. <laughs> Astarte, okay. Ah, oh, uh, okay. Wait, is there Ishtar here? Where is she? Ereshkigal, 14. Uh, I would have... Uh, if it was higher, you know, that would be nice. Uh, Skasaha, Okta Soji, Kyohime, Gawain. Wait, where's Ishtar? I think I missed Ishtar. 20. Okay, Ishtar is quite high. Right, you know. Okay, I can live with that. Um, there you go. And the most people, like you know, like the result top results are Robin Hood. A lot of people got Robin Hood. Uh, then who? Kuhulin, Queen of Shiva. Okay. Julius Caesar, Tamamo. Okay, Arash, Kasaha. Uh. Nero Claudius, Okta Soji, Osakabe Hime, Ganesha, Suska Gozan. You know what? My internet is okay. I'm not okay with Astolfo. No, he, he, he has some weird obsession. Like, every single time. Like, and Ganesha would be definite. I, I would more than happily take Ganesha. You know, obviously, I'm an Indian. <laughs> right. Um, Arash, yeah, definitely. Paul Bunyan, okay. Atlante, yeah. Yeah, everyone is fine. You know, I'm, I'm fine with everyone. Sherlock Holmes was also there on top. Okay. Um, yeah, my internet, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with it. You know, I don't have any problem. I still I have a problem. <laughs> right. Oh, God. That was great. You know, that was kind of fun. Um, yeah. Uh, there were some really interesting questions in this quiz. God damn, I, 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 this is a big one, you know. It's literally 45 minutes now. Good God. I thought this would, I could maximum extend it to like 20 minutes or something. <laughs> right. So there you go, guys. Um, that was a huge quiz. Um, obviously, I talked about a lot of things here. So that's why it got extended so much. But yeah, if you played along with me, uh, if you want to share your uh, result, be sure to do so in the comment section. And like I said, if you want to play the quiz, it's, it's, the link is there in the description box. Uh, you can do that. And yeah, so that is it guys. Thanks for watching. This was me seeing which fate grand order servant would I would I summon, you know, and it turns out to be Marie Antoinette. And I'm 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 quite okay with that. You know, there's definitely a few other characters that I would prefer, obviously, you know. Ishtar Ishkigal. But unfortunately Ishkigal was almost at the bottom. Ishtar was there at the top at twenty, it's fine. I'll be happy with Ganesha as well, you know, and a few others. Um but yeah, my Marie Antoinette is okay. You know, and I'm fine with her. Um, so yeah, so that is it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. I'll check them out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys uh, in the next Fate Grand Order video. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.